I'll start talking. Good morning, this Cuda High School, live from the TV studio. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, here are the morning announcements. Attention all students, on Monday we'll begin a new process to sign students in who are arriving to school late. This will be done electronically, and each student will be printed a pass to give to their teacher. Any student who arrives late without a note will automatically be issued a detention slip by the new system. Any students parked in the senior lot without a valid permit, you must move your vehicles immediately. Again, this will be our final notice of warning. Uh, starting next week, cars may be removed. If you see senior Dan Palmer today, wish him good luck. He'll be bowling at the state championships tomorrow in Syracuse at 2 o'clock. Congratulations, Dan. Attention seniors, stop by the yearbook table near Crossroads to vote for this year's senior superlatives. The winners will be, uh, you can vote for the senior superlative winners during your lunch box. The following students have messages in the nurse's office. Please stop down and pick them up. David Belkin, Nathan Brinick, Jeffrey Kent, Oscar Mercevic and Merjan Ozashik. Stop down and pick up your messages. I want to congratulate everyone who was a part of this week's multicultural fair. Uh, it was an outstanding display of student diversity, student talent, uh, faculty coordination, uh, student participation. We had a great showing uh, in our Blatnik gym and we hope to continue this event for many years to come. I want to give special thanks to all the students who helped organize this event. With that in mind, I want to remind all of you once again how seriously we take any instance of harmful, intolerant language, whether it's based on race, ethnicity, or any other characteristic. There is no place for that in this school, and we are all together in this and want our school and your experience here to be the very best that it can be. If you see or hear or become aware of any disrespectful or intolerant comments or actions, please bring them to our attention, no matter who says it or where it comes from. We will follow up on all these reports and take the necessary steps to address them. Being proactive in this way and celebrating the many diverse cultures that make up our schools, just as we did the other day, is the only way to make sure that everyone feels safe, welcome, and respected. Thank you, and I appreciate all that you do for making our school a better place. And now let's turn it over to our student anchors. Good morning, Ms. Guiuna, and thanks, Principal Rickard. Today's Friday, March 8th. I'm Brian. And I'm Evelyn. Here's what's making news around the school. First up, in case you missed it, this week is World Language Week. We've had tongue twisters and trivia around the school, and special books from world authors in the library. Today, we want to close things out with a funny clip from Senora Gardner's Spanish One class, as they have some fun. Sounds so fun. So, Evelyn, who had the bread? I don't know. Anyway, today's the final day of World Language Week, and today's Spanish Day. So, try to figure out the trivia and tongue twisters that you see in the halls and on the TVs around the school. Have some fun and enjoy lear and learning something. Creative Writing Club is once again holding its Coffee House style Java Jive in May. Creative Writing is sending this reminder about Java Jive. Roll the clip. It's Edgar Allan Grove with that Edgar Allan flow. So 
tell you Edgar Allan no. Creative Writing Club is going to Edgar Allan Throw. Java Jive in the Cafeteria on May 3rd. It's a night of poetry and music to transform the cafeteria into a coffee house. So come for an Edgar Allan Cup of Joe. If you can Edgar Allan Bongo or read Edgar Allan Poetry, it's your chance to Edgar Allan Glow. Submission forms are available in the English Resource Center or with your English teacher. Submission forms are due March 12th. If you don't do any of those, you should still Edgar Allan go. And say an Edgar Allan hello. Proceeds go to the National Alliance for Mental Illness. It's going to be a great Edgar Allan show. Very um, nice, ladies. Thanks, Edgar Allan poets. See what I did there? So anyway, Java Jive packets are also outside D107. You have until the 12th to sign up. All right, on a more serious note, today's the final day of a corn drive star for starving children in Yemen. Look for the table and crossroads during lunch mods, and please give generously, if you can. All money collected will go to, in Mr. Flood's name to the Save the Children Emergency Fund to deliver critical aid to the children in Yemen living through the brutal conflict there again. Today is the final day to donate. That's a very worthwhile coin drive. Next, our science department has its upcoming lecture on world prediction, on weather prediction on Tuesday, March 19th at 7 p.m. in the Little Theater. Please come out to hear Andrea Lang, a professor from SUNY Albany. Please talk to your science teacher for more details. Are you interested in taking a, any of the AP tests? Be sure to register in the Counseling Center by next Friday, March 15th. Again, for AP tests, go to Counseling by next Friday. And we have a change to announce from JAMA Club. Additions which had been scheduled for yesterday are being moved to Monday the 11th. That's this Monday after school in the Little Theater. The time slots for students who have already signed up to audition remain the same. However, there are still a few time slots open if you want to audition. The spring play this year will be Sweet Surrender. Okay, that's all the news we have today. Have a great weekend. Go Warriors!